hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show us how to calculate quadratic equation using microsoft excel so if you are new to this channel kindly please hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when i release new video who knows i may decide to show us how to calculate a simultaneous equation using microsoft excel so guys let us get started now a quadratic equation is expressed as a x squared plus b x plus c is equals to zero and and there are three let me let us go back to elementary mathematics there are three methods we can use to solve a simultaneous equa um, a quadratic equation is either you use the completing the square method is either you use the factorization method or you use the formula method which some people call the almighty formula okay but um we cannot use the completing the square method neither can we use the factorization method in excel simply because um completing the square method and factorization method involves some form of logical reasoning and you have to do it manually but the formula method is what we are going to use since excel operates with formulas okay so and the formula for co computing the quadratic equation is x square x is equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a where a b and c are all constant okay and um, since the formula is in this way then we are going to program the formula on excel into two places remember that the formula is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a meaning that x1 is being the first truth to be minus b plus so you pick the first plus you know this thing is plus or minus so minus b plus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a then you now come again and say x2 that is the second root of course you know a quadratic equation normally have two answers okay so the second one will be minus b minus remember that this formula is minus b plus or minus so the second formula will now be minus b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so we are going to split the formula into two okay so that's how we can solve it on excel all right so and um, to code the formula to code the above formula on Excel, that means we are going to code this formula that is for root 1 and for root 2 since a quadratic equation normally have two answers. So this is how we are going to code the formula on Excel. Now, so let us get started. So the first thing you need to do is to just, you know, you know, specify your values. Come to your Excel and then write A, B, C. And let me just delete this. Okay, come to your values and write A, B, C and come here and write X1 and X2 x1 will be the, the one that will carry for plus minus b plus b squared minus 4 is over 2a and the x2 will be the one that will carry minus b minus since the formula is x is equals to minus b plus or minus okay so the first one will be the one that will carry plus so this is what we are going to do now look at this question look at this question x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equals to zero now those of us that understand mathematics you know that there is a coefficient of x here and the coefficient of x here is one so i'll put one here enter the coefficient of x here is five that is b is equals to five that is a is equals to one the coefficient of x here b is equals to five the coefficient of this one and c is equals to six that is positive six the coefficient that is the constant okay so i'm going to say a is one b is what five so i'll type five here and um, c is what six i'll put six here enter okay so that is how i can use it to solve so a is one b is five and c is six now how can i use um, excel to solve it so I'll, I'll say equals to equals to open a bracket minus this is what i'll follow minus let's look at this formula minus what is my b i'll tap on my b this is my b minus then plus minus b plus since I, I want to do it only plus i cannot put plus and minus at the same time so the minus will be for the second one so minus b plus okay then i'll open another bracket then i will use a formula that we call sqrt in excel is used to find the square root since the formula is saying that minus b plus square root of so i will now say sqrt you can see it right now it will return the square of a number then i'll open the bracket what is the number square root of what b squared what is the b i'll tap on this place b square i'll i'll say b times 
I will still tap on this place again since B square means B times B. Okay, so I'll tap on this place. Although there's another way I can do it, I can actually use the exponents on my keyboard, but just so that everybody will follow. So since this thing is B square, so that will be B times B3 times B3. That is this place that the, the cell is. Then the next thing I will say is minus 4. Okay, times my asterisk times what is my A? Where is my A? I'll tap on my A, tap on it times where is my c i also tap on it okay so that is 4ac how many times do i open the bracket one two three and in excel note the number of brackets opened must be equal to the number of bracket closed so i'll close this bracket three times since i open the bracket three times so i'll say one two three so i'm done with the up that is minus b plus square root of b square minus square root of over 2a then I'll look for my divided by, open a bracket, 2, multiply by, where is my A? My A now, this is my A. Then I'll just tap on my A here. Yeah, that is, my A is, is represented by B2, cell B2. Then I'll now close my bracket and press enter. You can see it right now. So my X1 is minus 2. If you're a mathematician, you can try it. So you can try, you can try solving this question manually. Your x1 is 2 okay so that's the first answer you know quadratic equation normally have two answer remember that we tried for this this minus b plus square root of b square minus square root of 2a now the next thing is that we are going to try for the second one but once you have tried for the first one you don't need to try for the second one what you do is that go to the first one formula and highlight it and press ctrl c copy it press enter go to this um, go to the place where you want to put the formula in the other one come around here and say control v but this time around this you know this place is minus b plus and this is the plus here before the square root so the plus before the square root now instead of it to be plus now now change it to minus so you can see now instead of it to be plus here i will now change it to minus because the second formula says minus b minus okay then i'll press enter you can see the second formula the second answer is 3. So the first answer is minus 2, while the second answer is minus 3. So guys, this is how you can use a Excel to compute your quadratic equation. Now let us try for the other one. Look at this second question. A is what? A is what? 3. I'll put 3 here. Press enter. B is what? Minus 12. I'll say, min I'll say minus 12. Press enter. Why my C is what? C is 10. Then I press 10. I press enter you can see you can see the answer right now you can see the answer x1 x2 let me try for the third one the third one a is what two this is it a is two enter b is what b is minus one minus one enter and c is what c is minus six minus six press enter you can see it right now two and minus one point five so you can play around it. You will notice that all you just need to do is to change your A, your B, and your C. So this, this three place will be your input value cell. This is where you can change your A, B, and C. And don't forget that the A is the coefficient of this. A is coefficient. B is coefficient. Y, C is the constant. Yes. A and B are coefficients. Y, the C is the constant okay so i made a mistake a is the coefficient b is the coefficient y c is the constant so the coefficient of x square is what invisible one so that's why i put one here before that's why you say a is equals to one the coefficient of x here is five that's why you see five here why the constant here is six that's why you see six here so whenever you have been able to identify your a b and c just come to your excel sheet and change these three places then excel will compute the x1 and the x2 which is the which is the two value you will get whenever you solve a quadratic equation so guys this is how you can solve quadratic equation using microsoft excel thanks for watching this video if you found this video useful kindly please like share and hit the subscribe below this video yes you will see a subscribe icon below this video click on it so that you will get notified when i release new videos i may decide to do that of simultaneous equation so you can drop your comments 
um, you can you can leave a comment in the comment section below so before you go make sure you subscribe to this video thank you and god bless you i'll see you in my next video